Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's Friday, the 27th of October, the 30th anniversary of Operation Lalang. Today, Prime Minister Najib Razak made history, tabling the biggest federal budget that Malaysia has ever seen and also the first expansionary budget in three years. The number comes in at a whopping 282.3 billion ringgit, with 46 billion for development and 234.3 billion for operations. It is what Najib calls the mother of all budgets, explaining that it is the most inclusive budget ever presented. Let's take a look at the key highlights of the budget. Perhaps the most prominent announcement was that the tolls on the federal high Highway will be completely abolished, making the Federal Highway completely free from the 1st of January 2018. On top of that, the tolls at Bukit Kayu Hitam in Kedah as well as the Eastern Dispersal Link in Johor are also going to be abolished, along with the tolls at Batu Tiga Shah Alam, along with the tolls at Batu Tiga, Shah Alam and Sungai Rasau in Selangor. The next juicy bit is that the income tax rate for those who earn between 20,000 and 70,000 per annum will enjoy a reduction in the tax rate of 2%. The biggest change will be for those earning between 20,000 and 35,000 a year. They will see a drop from 5% down to just 3%. Those in other tax brackets are expected to see their rates maintained. Changes to the National Higher Education Fund Corporation PTPTN have also been put on the table. This time to bring more flexibility to those who apply for the loans. Najib said that the students from B40 households earning below 3,855 ringgit undergoing highly marketable courses would be provided with 200 million ringgit to increase the maximum loan amount. The grace period for the repayment has also been increased to 12 months from the current 6 months. In this budget, Prime Minister Najib also announced Visit Malaysia 2020 and that Malaysia will be the host of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation APEC meeting, World Congress on Information Technology WCIT and Commonwealth Heads of Government meetings Chogam in the same year. Another interesting point is that the island of Pulau Pangkor in Kedah is to be made a duty-free island. However, this will not apply to alcoholic beverages, liquor, cigarettes and motor vehicles. Finally, the Bantuan Rakyat Satu Malaysia payment or BRIM payouts will be maintained at 1,200 ringgit for households earning below 3,000 ringgit. Najib also announced a handout of 1,500 ringgit for civil servants next year to be made in two payments. Perks for civil servants also include seven days unrecorded leave for Umrah pilgrimage. Women who are at least five months pregnant will be allowed to leave work an hour earlier. For more detailed insights and stories on the 2018 budget, you can check out MalaysiaKini.com and you can also watch recaps and highlights of the announcement on KiniTV.com. Before we go, check out what went down as the budget speed wrapped up in the Day One Rakyat. Do subscribe and share this video. I'm Daniel Anthony. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.